Hello and welcome to UiPath Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Today in this chapter 8 of regular expression, we are going to learn how do you verify Aadhaar card number verification. Think of a portal where a customer will be entering his Aadhaar card number and you have to do some kind of verification to ensure the Aadhaar card is right or wrong right so for verification purpose also we can use the regular expression so let's see how to do that so please do like all the videos guys what you're watching in uipath expo hub please do share with your friends and comment what you feel about this video thank you very much so let's get started so first in the regexr.com site uh, so aadhar card number right so how how is the aadhar card number generally it will be something like four digit then a space then a four digit and a space and a four digit right so this is the three set of uh, numbers that's supposed to have so for for me to verify that as i said first i have to use the caret symbol uh, caret symbol is to match the beginning so beginning of the sentence which i have explained in my previous video so caret symbol and then after that i have to ensure i have to identify four digits so for that you write backwards plus d for digit and then in the curly braces you will be typing 4 so that way it is going to highlight right only the starting of the sentence because i have put a uh, caret right if i do not use the caret symbol it is selecting everything right so i have used a caret in the beginning of the sentence so it is available above the 6 okay after that what i am going to do after that there is a space right so for that again backward slash and small s so that will notify the space and same thing i need to repeat backward slash d and then curly braces within the curly braces i have to type 4 right and then again there is a space the second space and then d and then within curly braces i have to say 4 and here is the end of the this one so i have to use a dollar symbol that is the to get the end of the statement character okay so this is done so this is my expression so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this expression go to ui path so i have already pre-built a small workflow what i'm doing here first is the input dialog box in the input dialog box i am saying enter the aadhar card number okay so the moment customer enters the aadhar card number that comes as the output and gets stored in this variable called aadhar okay and then is match so each match is another regular expression activity if you type string you see this is match so is match is what it tells you whether it's true or false so if matches with the pattern then it will say true if it doesn't matches the pattern then it will say false right so for verification pur purpose is match is the activity that we should be using then you click on configure regular exp expression and here you what you have to do is select advance and in the advance you need to copy paste the expression that you have written okay and then save it after that is match has an output where i have declared a variable called op so this op variable if you see this is a boolean variable so it will give two different kind of output either it will say true or it will say false okay so this is a boolean variable after that i am using a switch activity in the switch activity i have to say op and the switch activity while you are using one thing to remember that the type argument has to be changed to boolean okay so, so the moment you do it then you will find the case if you click on that you will find one true the other one is false if it is true it is i am saying thank you if it is false i am saying you entered a entered an invalid aadhar number okay so this is what i have done so let me run it and show you how it works so let me run it okay so now enter the aadhar card number so here what i'm going to do i'm going to enter the proper number one two three four one two three four one two three four okay and i'm clicking on okay so it is saying thank you now let me try to enter a wrong or an invalid 
uh, aadhar card number and see if it is able to verify or not okay so now here let me enter 1 2 3 4 one two three four and here one two three four five i am doing okay so this is a wrong this is not a other card number so when i click on okay what will happen your you entered an invalid other number is something coming out so you can utilize in many different ways but again you need to understand how the ease match activity works okay it returns a boolean variable and with the expression we can track it whether it's correct or not correct okay this is kind of a validation that can be done using this activity so thank you very much for watching this video please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done please do like all the videos in the channel we have hundreds of videos on ui path and going through them you will become an expert in ui path so please do subscribe you know hit on the bell icon and keep receiving the regular updates coming on ui path expo hub thank you very much for all your support you guys have a wonderful day